Well, time is running out for The Flash, which is now in its ninth and final season. And Team Flash finds themselves amidst a crisis. So what's wrong with them? According to Gideon's biometric analysis, Iris and Nia are in a deep REM sleep. Well, why can't we wake them? Well, their cortical functions are totally siloed. That's why they won't respond to any outside stimuli. What about the baby? Is Nora OK? What I can tell, yeah, baby Nora's OK so far. Cecile, can you sense anything? No. Well, if Nia's here and they're both asleep... Then that can't be a coincidence. What about contacting Kara or Brainy or John? I mean, they know Nia's powers better than we do. Here, I checked. They're all off-world. Well, we have to try something. And here with me is the talented actor who brings the flash and Barry Allen to life, our CW family member, Grant Gustin. So it's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. In the me. studio. So The Flash yeah. is the longest running superhero show yes. on the CW. Yeah. So what's it like for you to be a part of such, such a successful show? Um, yeah, it was really, really special. I think when it started, I was, I've often said, I was probably naive to just assume that it was probably gonna be kind of successful because it's the character already had such a lasting legacy. You know, it was already such a popular IP that I felt like we'd really have to mess this thing up for it to not have moderate <laughs> success, yeah. you know? But I didn't think I'd be sitting here nearly 10 years later talking about having just finished. Um, so it's, it was really, really special, yeah, to be a part of something like this. That is awesome. Yeah. So what's happening this season? Lots, yeah. I mean, when you introduce that the crisis, I'm like, yeah, it's always some crisis. Dun, what's dun, our, dun. Yeah, there's always a crisis <laughs> going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, you know, we, we always try to up the stakes every season, but also personally this year, it's um, we're going to see... Uh, Barry and Iris um, expecting their first child, which is mm. something we're really excited about. We're, we've been trying to build to that storyline for a while now. We've like teased their, not teased, we've introduced their future children and met them as like adults. So we knew that that was, you know, they were going to have children together someday. So it was something we really wanted to get to in the last season, and, and it's and we got there. So is that the new element for the Flash this season? It's one of the things going on. I mean, it's it's kind of halfway through the season. I think we we introduced that storyline. And it's not like heavily prevalent. Like there's a lot of other things mm -hmm. going on for the second half of the season. Honestly, it's not until the last couple episodes that we really kind of dive headfirst into that storyline. And um, really, it's at the end of the season that we're able to go there because it's such it, it's like a, an emotional kind of finite thing. So yeah. we deal with all the other, as you said, crises and you know all the other action and whatnot before we get to that. Well, like you mentioned, almost a decade of yeah. shows and a lot of crossovers. So many. Gosh, I, I couldn't even imagine being you and trying to pick a favorite moment, but do you have yeah. one? Um, I don't specifically have one <laughs> favorite moment. No, I mean, the crossovers were like really special moments though, because it's, it, there was also, I mean, that was some of the toughest times for us, because it's already like, you make these episodes of television, superhero television in nine days, and then you do the crossovers, and it's you're doing four or five episodes at a time, but still just in like nine days. So it's, it's like actually impossible. I'm not really sure how we were able to get it on TV. But yeah, those moments, those crossovers were always fun because you're getting so, like, you know, 20 plus actors, characters together at the same time and like 15 of us in superhero suits and it's pretty cool. But you know, I think if you ask anyone that's a huge fan of the yeah. show, they might have to say that the musical episode back in 2017 was <laughs> yeah. probably one of their favorites. People do say that often and right? I, it's like sometimes I've, I forget that we did that because it was like... <laughs> It was actually with um, a Your lot of, um, oh yeah, there it there is. There you go. There, there we are. There yeah, I was gonna say it was with Melissa, who was on Glee for much longer than I was, but I was also on Glee. And it, the choreographer, Zach Woodley from Glee, came up and, and choreographed it for us. And we had Darren Chris from Glee. So it felt like a Glee reunion. Yeah, I bet. Like it was, I, bet. I forget that that was an episode of Flash. Was one of your favorite episodes then? It was one of the most fun, for sure. I mean, it's, I actually, was introduced to performing as a tap dancer first when I was like eight years old. So it was kind of like going back to my roots for sure. Yeah, so I'm looking at this, it, you didn't have the costume on there. No. But Flash, the costume for Flash in yeah. itself was kind of like a character in yeah. itself. Yeah, I yeah. saw a video posted on social media of you hanging up that costume yeah. up for yeah. the last time. You got a little choked up. What was that like? You said, yeah. thanks bud. Yeah, it was bittersweet. I mean, it's like, you know, I've had tough days and nights in that suit, you know, and it's, uh, but it's also something that was 
really special to me to just ha you know not many actors I guess a lot of actors these days actually get their own superhero suits but like you know it's not all too common to have a superhero suit made for you that was you know that you get to wear at work mm. and you know people recognize you for that and I get to be associated with this iconic character so yeah to get to have my own suit was pretty special and to get to to hang it up for the last time was also kind of special and to yeah. just know that we've like we've finished and um it was you know it was bittersweet but it was also kind of like a joyous moment it like really felt like the end when yeah. i put it on the rack well i'm sure a lot of folks are going to miss seeing you on the air as flash oh, thank you. Uh, but we'll wonder what is next for you you've been on broadway before you've been in musicals before. yeah broadway tour any yeah. chance that you might return to the stage oh i would love to honestly i've for years have said that's kind of my number one priority when Flash wrapped up because mm -hmm. it was, you know, it's it's such a specific thing to play one character on a TV show for so long. And, and I would love to, you know, continue to work in TV and film if possible, but I, I my priority number one would be for sure to get back on stage. It's been like 12 years, so yeah. I would love to get back on stage. Well, it'd be great to see you there. Again. Yeah, thank you. Grant Gustin, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing the rest of the season, but we will miss you. The final season of The Flash airs right here on PIX11 Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock.